Um, hi, I'm Zara Tarani. Uh, I am born and bred in Oxford and I am the leader of the Young Women's Music Project, um, the musician and creator of community projects. Um, they kind of look like they've been drawn on, which I really liked, um, and they looked really comfortable. Um, but they literally look like someone's taken a pen to them and drawn around them. They're quite cool. It's really hard to say because I love shoes, so I have quite a lot of shoes. So I'm not entirely sure where they've been because I can't really remember. But maybe I took them to Germany because I went to Berlin a few times. So it's got to be one of the three times I went I had those shoes. Um, I remember learning to drive in them and it was quite tough <laughs> because um, um, yeah I kind of had this mentality when I was driving that when I'd make a mistake it would set me back loads in my driving and I'd get really wound up and then I realised I needed to just stop concentrating on the mistake and just move on quickly so that I could progress. It's kind of a good life lesson. But it worked well with those shoes. I think I actually might have passed my driving test in them. I think I tried to just stay in the moment. So when I'm when I'm getting ready to leave, um, I'm just trying to stay present and look forward to um, every moment from there, really, um, so that I don't focus on the challenges too much. Um, there are always difficulties in my day. Um, I have a small child who's two and a half, so I'm experiencing a lot of tantrums and screaming when he gets frustrated. So I try not to focus on it till it happens and then deal with it then. But I could anticipate that every morning and get, you know, frustrated before it happens, but I try not to. I'd have to say the young people that I teach and work with, they've got so much um, sort of, they're so hopeful about the future and um, they do so well with what they have in this city because it can be quite restricting for people that, you know, are trying to do something creative or interesting and they're just starting out. Sometimes it can be quite hard to like facilitate that and to sort of um, reach their goals and dreams so yeah they're the highlight of the city for me is just seeing them grow and develop. I'm usually in different spaces teaching in different locations so I could be in a school or a hospital school or here teaching at Fusion Arts um, and I'm kind of like it's very responsive so when I meet them, I'm just dealing with it as it comes, not planning too far ahead because you never know what they've been through during the day or what they're experiencing. So it's kind of like just being someone there that's really um, there to listen and support them, do what they want to do, really, rather than trying to enforce something on them. So it's an open space for them to create and make music and art, really. I guess in difficult times I have, like periods of loss or sadness or anxiety, um, just wish that I wasn't me, I guess. I've, I kind of feel that there's sort of a natural feeling towards this kind of things, for me anyway. I think support moral support um, and just love and kindness seems to be like random acts of kindness make such a difference to people's lives um, in this world anyway in this area we live in in Oxford just basic attention and support I think someone asking you how you are and, and actually meaning it is really important. I don't think en enough people do that. Everyone's kind of like focused on their day to day and what they're currently doing. Um, when I guess I feel like you can make a lot of difference in your own c 
like immediate community by just little things like that. It's really um, sad to see that you know, borders restrict people from basic human rights like shelter and food and and support in general and it's really difficult to witness um, and it makes me feel frustrated with the country I live in at times. Um, both my parents are from different countries and they met and came and moved to Oxford. They met in Oxford. Um, and just hearing from my dad that if he'd left Iran any later than he did, that he wouldn't be here because of the revolution there. And like the complications with travelling to countries like that and coming back. Like my focus is generally around other people and, and trying to help others. Um, not always intentionally but it's, it's just naturally how I am day to day. Um, being a caregiver to my kid and then my job being about that too. Um, so my way of life is really just about sharing and, and trying to be creative and enjoying myself with creating and helping others. Um, it's been like that for a long time, since I was probably around 16. I think the main thing would be to pass on to people that, especially young women, that to work together as a sisterhood, to help each other, to um, encourage people younger than you so that they've got someone to look up to and work with. Um, and to leave that my philosophy of just like um, and and the way I've kind of like taught these sessions and worked with people for that to sort of stay there and people to learn from that and then pass that on because it was passed on to me and I learnt from somebody else and it's just like a legacy that continues so I think nurturing each other and having that sort of um, sisterhood of, of women working as a team, not against each other, um, to accomplish their goals, that would be what I'd like to leave behind. It all goes back to my work again. It's just so much about my identity is my work. Um, I don't know, stuff about my heritage, I guess, and how it's quite fragmented, and parts of my identity are quite fragmented, so for you to understand that would be quite cool because I don't really understand it myself. <laughs> so that's what I'd want you to do is work it out for me if you're in my shoes. Just more of what I'm doing, making more music, performing live, playing drums, um, and just spreading more, more love <laughs> across the city through music, that's where I want my shoes to go.